Good morning. Hey, I'm your host, Jeff Ski Kinsey, and I'm with a company called Fast Charge Energy. It's a startup, and we are in pre-seed phase. If you know what that means, and you're interested in the EV space, our space is actually the EVSE, Electric Vehicle Supply Equipment Space or Arena. And we're looking for some help. So if you are a startup maven and you've got some unique talents and would like to join us in fixing the future of charging, that's a big task. That's a big challenge. Now, Elon has taken a particular path, Elon Musk, through this. Others have taken other paths. But what we're focused on, because of my 10 plus years background in hospitality, we've taken this unique perspective. People who own and drive EVs want to go somewhere. They want to go somewhere in their EV. Okay. And it's great to have superchargers. It's great that someday, maybe, Nevi, the national EV infrastructure bill will actually make charging happen across the country. And of course, it's great to have a charger where you sleep. But what about the other spots? What we call destination chargers. We call them great resort destinations. Maybe that favorite coffee shop of yours. Okay, that's what we do. We, we want to design, sell, oversee the installation. We don't physically do it. We use the appropriate licensed electrical contractors in your area, in the 47 continental United States. We project lead, get it done and installed up to our satisfaction and your satisfaction fairly and affordably for all. But we go two steps more. Okay, that's great. That's, nobody else is doing that to the level we think is necessary. But the second thing we do, think of a Venn diagram, V-E-N-N, -N, a Venn diagram with three circles that overlap. The second thing we do is we monitor those charging posts 24 seven. Now you do have to make internet available close enough to the, the charging posts so that we can monitor the devices. And the third thing we do is we advertise it. We say, hey, here's this great spot. They've got great chargers and guess what? We know they're up and we know how many spots or slots are available at this exact moment. And you can reach us via text and say, hey, What's the status of that? Maybe you don't want to download another app. Maybe it's just a simple text. Hey, I'm headed to Hilton Head Island. Okay, great. We can give you the status of all the chargers between wherever you're at and Hilton Head Island. How cool is that? You don't want to plan a trip. I've done this. I've been on a trip where you show up and the charger is gone. Okay, plug share. We all love it. But plug share says, hey, go here and get a charge. I go there, the store's out of business, the chargers are gone, and PlugShare doesn't know anything about it. Okay, we're going to solve that problem. Then we're going to advertise it. We're going to tell people about this great getaway that you have. And we're going to do that. We're going to monitor it 24-7 for 90 days for free. That's included in our price. And then we're going to advertise it on social media. We're going to do the social media marketing, shouting about your getaway, your hospitality spot, your amazing coffee shop and our amazing chargers for 90 days for free. Of course, at the end of the period, we'd love to see you subscribe, but that's another conversation. By the way, if you're concerned about what you've heard with Elon Musk laying off the entire supercharging department, that is nothing to be concerned about. Unless you're driving something other than a Tesla. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of reasons today that you want to drive a Tesla. And again, right now at this moment, I don't own any Tesla stock. But I have in the past and I probably will in the future. But here's the thing. Think of this. If, if you have a child and they bring home a friend from school, okay? And who are you most likely to pay the most attention to, okay? What's your kids doing? If the other kid's acting up a little bit, you're gonna let some of that slide, right? Okay, but if your kid's acting up, 
I hope you're going to step in. Hey, same thing with Tesla. Tesla's charging at Tesla superchargers is going to work probably forever, whatever forever means. So please don't be concerned. You've got all these pundits out there and all these so-called experts saying what a horrible decision this was. I disagree. I think it was a very smart move. And I could tell you why, but I'm not going to. You don't need to know at this point. But for, for people who have never built a trillion dollar company, to second guess Elon, I think is in bad form. Yes, you can have opinions, but when you when you call it out and say you believe it's wrong, and here's the 27 reasons you think it's wrong, I don't care. And you shouldn't either, okay? This ecosystem just works. Think of this, on the Tesla superchargers, there's no credit card reader. So that's something that cannot break. With the Tesla cables, there's no little funky hook on on the end of the cable to try to hold the cable in place. And when people drop the cable on the ground, that little hook breaks. And now you can't charge your car because the cable is broke. Okay? Tesla does it differently. They do it a much smarter way. There's no LCD display for somebody to break. Okay, You plug your car in, Tesla instantly recognizes your car. And charges you appropriately. They simply have no equal. If you if you want to buy something else, great. And the best thing you can do there if you're going to go on a trip is rent a car, an ICE car, internal combustion engine vehicle, and take a trip. Or you could rent our Teslas on Toro. How cool would that be? Elon Musk called the Model X the, Fab the Fabergé egg of cars. Think about that. So Right now it's available on Toro. You can pick it up either in my hometown of New Philadelphia, Ohio, or at the Akron Canton Airport. So check it out. I'll include a link in the show notes. But I've never been more excited about the future, and you could join us.